going to give this a few seconds here. Okay, there's a couple of people watching. I'm just going to this is an unannounced live stream. Just wanted to get this video done very quickly. Um, so I'm going to put this thing together here. Hopefully everything works just fine. Um, <clears throat> a brother in the Lord sent me this video here about a Jewish rabbi. And um, hi, uh, see in the comments there, live stream. But uh, a brother sent me this thing about the thing of the Donald Trump uh, assassination thing. A lot of people are just completely forgetting about it. People have such short attention spans and they're forgetting there's, you know, information coming out about a second shooter now and a white van from uh, Arizona and explosive devices. And I mean, there's stuff coming out, but, it, you know, hey, let's go on to the next thing. Forget about what happened. But what this guy says is very important. This uh, rabbi here. Okay. So I'm going to play this here really quickly. And here we go. The current non-Jewish Messiah was chosen to be of service to the Jewish people and the Jewish Messiah. President Trump's right ear was grazed in a symbolic gesture of Exodus 21.6, where the Torah states that a servant who wants to remain with his master needs to have his right ear pierced. Hmm. So they're actually saying that this, you know, he's another way of saying that this is a symbolic gesture of uh, having his right ear pierced. Huh. You mean it was staged? Get back to what the rest of the stuff he says here, but um, I did my video here was the Trump assassination attempt and a cult ritual. Okay, and I believe it was the blood on the right ear and everything else there getting ready to uh, produce major sacrifices in America. Um, but this guy just said another point that it's the ears punctured through with a, with an awl. That's another thing in the Old Testament. And then that would be like they would be a bond servant of you know, the nation of Israel, which Trump has done. Trump has become a, a Jew. He was converted over to Judaism, I think, in 2017 or something like that. So always oh, a Christian. No, he's not a Christian. Okay, he's definitely not a Christian. But um, listen to this thing here. Uh, this is uh, Eric Trump. Listen to what he says. Eric Trump trained at, uh, I think it was Georgetown University. His father's trained at Fordham University, uh, the Jesuits there. He was trained at either Fordham. Donald Trump Jr. was uh, another one trained uh, Jesuits uh, by the Jesuits. But I can't think if it was um, which one of them went to Georgetown, which one to Fordham. So uh, don't have that information right now. Um, you can put that in the comments if you know which one is which. But listen to what he says here about this whole thing. This is right after it happened at the Republican National Convention, you know, Trump with the big band-aid thing on his ear, the fake thing that, that was. Listen to this. Well, it's been a pretty somber mood, right? I mean, my father got shot at. Somebody took off half his ear. <laughs> Somebody took off half his ear. Okay. See, they were going with this whole thing here, you know. Oh, it's somebody took off half of his ear. Um, hmm. And you can go on and, oh, he's going to make America great again, bring back prosperity, the whole thing that they just keep repeating over and over again. Even though Trump spent more uh, money in his presidential first term than any president before him, even though Trump brought in the pandemic uh, tyranny more than we ever saw in America before that. Um, yeah. Um, <clears throat> so, um, but, you know, oh, he, he was shot in the ear. Definitely been proven as a fact. Okay. Took off half his ear, he says. Now, you know, you would think that the son would know. He wouldn't just make up something like that. Then why is it that you can see here, this is just seven days ago. Um, there's no scar. There's no anything. Uh, you see, Trump is part of the whole Hollywood uh, professional wrestling acting system. I mean, he's an actor like Ronald Reagan was. Ronald Reagan, which uh, signed Noah Hyde Laws. Trump, which is signing Noah Hyde Laws. Um, pretty dangerous. But uh, where's the hole? Don't tell me you can have a bullet go through your ear and it just closes in and, and within a, a couple of weeks and it's gone. There's no mark. And I showed my, my other video there, the one I did back here, <clears throat> down in this, this uh, video right here. I showed that... Uh, um, 
when Mike Tyson bit Evander Holyfield's top of his ear, his ear still deformed. It doesn't just heal up like that. Okay, years ago, long ago, and he gets the top of his ear bit off, and it still is deformed. Evander Holyfield, he has a bullet go through his ear, and it just heals over. Wow. <laughs> it's called fake. It was staged. Okay, yes, there were real bullets. Yes, they went into the crowd. Yeah, I get that. The whole thing. Thomas Crooks was there. He was a nut. Whatever, they shot him in the head. Yeah, that was all real. But you can easily take a little blood capsule and put it on there and whatever else. And Oh, I don't agree. Where's the bullet hole? Where's it at? And his own son comes out and says half of his ear was blown off. It's a ritual. This guy just said it. You have to understand this. But <clears throat> I will tell you right now, this man is going to be put in as the president. He's going to be chosen. All right. And um, he's going to do some very bad things. I will promise you that. But let's listen to the rest of what this guy has to say, this rabbi here. All right. Trump was designated as God's servant and anointed one, just like Cyrus the Great almost 2,400 years ago. Mm -hmm. We have clarified in several videos that the absolute deadline for the redemption is by the end of the Jewish year, 5,787, which corresponds to October 2nd, 2027. 1,167 days from today. Thus, the redemption will surely occur during Donald Trump's tenure. And I have good reason to believe Donald Trump was chosen to be the one to redeem the sins of Asa through offering his assistance in rebuilding the Holy Temple on the Temple Mount and establishing the Jewish kingdom over all of mankind in Jerusalem. Perhaps it is not... The Jewish kingdom over all mankind? Oh, you mean the one that they're going to bring in without Jesus Christ? That's what they're trying to do. These Talmudic papal Yudin, a lot of them can't even trace their lineage back to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob in terms of as being pure Jews. They've intermarried. They've intermingled with other people and things, white races and Hamitic and other people. They're not even real Jews anymore, in my opinion. That's why the Bible calls them miry clay. The miry clay joining up with the iron, Rome. But the... Uh, isn't this amazing? They're pushing for a new world order run by the Jews. And if you don't understand the Noahide thing, please watch my video. Uh, please, if you're a Christian out there, you have to understand. Um, let me show you the, the verse of scripture here. Romans chapter 11, verse 28. It's talking about Israel. Okay, here's the new covenant coming in up here in verse 26. But down in verse 28, as concerning the gospel, they are enemies for your sakes. The Jews are our enemies right now. But as touching the election, they are beloved for their for the Father's sakes. Okay, God made a covenant, and that covenant did not go away. The Abrahamic covenant, it's there. But what I'm saying is, these Jews, people like this, they are not the friend of Bible-believing Christians. They are, they are the enemy. And what they're trying to bring in, it's going to be, you convert to Noahide or you're dead. We're going to kill you. I proved that in my study. Please watch it. Right? Very important to understand that. But let's continue here. Listen to what the rest of what he says. No accident that the numeric value of Donald Trump in Hebrew is the same as Messiah, son of David, Moshiach ben David, 424. However, Donald Trump is mistaken if he thinks he was chosen to make America great again. He will know. They're going to destroy America, in other words. Understand that. No doubt do a lot of good things to strengthen our economy, protect our borders, and allow religious freedom to flourish. But America will never become a gate country on its own because Asaph's days are numbered. All our elite institutions and centers of power and influence are rotten through and through. The majority of Americans under 30 who are college educated and who are the future leaders of America support the vicious monsters of Hamas rather than the holy and courageous soldiers of the IDF. <laughs> I have to stop there. The holy and courageous soldiers of the IDF. Oh, yeah. Uh, you're not holy. Okay, they're not holy. If you reject Jesus Christ, you're not holy. Okay, you're self-righteous. Yes, that's true. Um, but holy? Okay, and they're they're uh, molesting, you know, enemies and things like this and, and whatever else. No, they're very wicked. Okay, extremely wicked. And, um, you know, I defend the nation of Israel. They have a right to take Gaza as their land and whatever, but there's different ways to do it. And, you know, not even going to get into that whole thing. But the, the whole point is 
I believe the Jews have a right to their land over there in Israel. I'll defend that. But the way that they're doing things, they're not holy. Okay. Uh, far from it. But, uh, and, and again, I can't speak for every single one of them. But there might be one that is holy or something, you know. But by and large, they're not doing it the right way. Okay. But, you know, let's know what he says here. Okay. The young people are supporting the Palestinians, the, the terrorists, the evil people of Hamas. Um, that, you know, Israel let attack, you know, last year in October, they let them attack. They just kind of didn't stop the whole thing as a pretext for war. They like to do that stuff. Um, but yeah, listen to what he says, though. No human being, even Donald Trump, can reverse this. No. The greatness of America does not lie in its own success. America will, will be great when the Messiah comes. And the leader of this country, on behalf of all the good people in this country, will humbly present himself to the Jewish Messiah and ask him to accept the United States of America into a new alliance of countries who accept the leadership of the Messiah. Oh, you mean the uh, Antichrist? Because that's what the Jews are looking for. They're looking for the Antichrist. They're, they're not looking for God manifest in the flesh, you know, the Lord Jesus Christ. They're not looking for him. They're looking for the Antichrist. He's just a regular man, and he's going to bring in world peace in it. And a new alliance. Well, you mean a new world order? Novus Order Seclorum? You mean that? Uh -huh, that's exactly what they mean. And so the people, you can't say these people are not redeemable. What if you, what do you do then with people that are not redeemable? Kill them. That's what they're planning. A new United Nations will replace the current cesspool that goes by that fraudulent name. A real United Nations, united to serve God, led by the Messiah and based in Jerusalem. And my feeling is that the United States under President Trump will be the first nation to join. Okay. Um, yeah, isn't that interesting? So they're planning this thing for the Trump presidency. And if you remember the, one of the other videos I brought out, Trump actually said, if you vote for me, he said, you won't ever have to vote again. You won't ever have to vote again. They're planning to destroy this country with Trump as the final president and a new alliance, a new United Nations headquartered in Jerusalem. Now, will they be able to pull it off? Eh, I don't know. I have no idea. But I, it's just very interesting. Um, and, you know, back and forth. Well, Kamala Harris is bad. And, you know, of course, she's bad. She's controlled opposition. Um, Trump's bad. They're both bad. <laughs> okay, the, the right wing and the left wing, it's part of the same bird, as I've said many times. Don't fall for this stuff. And, you know, this whole thing of, of uh, oh his the, you know he was there was an assassination attempt uh, let's just move on let's not talk about that um it was a staged performance is what it was there's no hole in trump's ear that's not possible you get shot in the ear there's going to be a hole there okay uh, my wife had pierced ears and she stopped wearing earrings years ago the hole didn't go away okay you get a hole through the top part of your ear, it's not going to go away. There's no hole in his ear. Remember that, right? Well, the, the angle which he shot and the, the way he turned his head, and the, none of that stuff matters. Well, Trump, and of course, Trump, you know, I looked at my hand, there was blood everywhere. Look at the video. There's no blood on his hand. There's none. But it's, it's just covered in blood. It's covered in blood. No, it wasn't. They lied. They're deceiving you. And if he's lying about that, What's he going to do when he becomes president? And I'll show you another thing here, too. Um, <clears throat> trying to think of. Well, he also was given the crown of Jerusalem. OK, let me let me see if I can get that story here real quickly. OK, Jewish News Syndicate. There's Trump speaking at a. Um, <clears throat> at a some kind of Jewish thing here. Uh, at his, uh, okay, this is back in um, July of 2023 at his own golf course thing in New Jersey. And he had all these different Jewish rabbis come and whatever else. You can read this article. Um, and right there is the crown that they gave him, the crown of Jerusalem. Yeah, they have big plans for this guy. 
it's this uh, wicked rabbi. These guys are so evil. Uh, they get into the thing of the Talmud, whatever, which says horrible, vile stuff about the Lord Jesus Christ. And it tells them that they can rape, you know, molest children and things. I mean, it, it's insane. The stuff that's in the Talmud and very satanic. And what, that's what these people base stuff on. And Trump is just right there with them, you know, and, and uh, into the Kabbalah and all the other stuff, uh, you know, Kabbalistic magic. And I mean, we're dealing with some really sick people here. OK, this is these are not uh, <clears throat> the Jews that we're supposed to um, think about and whatever. These people they're they are the miry clay that's joined up with Rome and they're working to bring in a new world order with the Antichrist system. We have to fight against this thing. So that is going to be it, and um, see you in the next video. Thank you for watching.